What's going on, people? Welcome back to the Reef Jack the Reefer. I got another banger video for you guys today. Let's be special, baby. Let's be special. So today, you know, I drove down to spring game. I'm going to try and vlog it. We'll see how it goes. I'm at my buddy's house right now. We're going to get things situated with this dog and getting there. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. What's up, buddy? All right, this is my buddy's dog, Zeus. Border Collie. High energy. He's a good dog, though. Who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? My buddy's killer reef tank. Common misconception about a reefer is that, uh, you know, people don't, don't, not everybody knows that it's actually for a coral. I have a love of coral and love, I have a fish tank myself, but this is my buddy's tank and it's an absolute beast of a tank. Yeah, but one day, one day I'm gonna get a tank that big. One day, we'll see. We'll see. Look, look at that tail go. Got your toy. I got your toy, Zeus. I got your toy. All right, we parked. We are on Clemson's campus, walking downtown. Probably go hang out with some people. Mario, who you got? You got? You got? You want to be in this? Orange. Or? Orange for sure. Orange or white? Orange. Orange. For sure. I'm going white, baby. White all the way. Kate Club Nixon, bring this sucker home. And then uh, you know Ryan Lithcomb's gonna perform great at center for us. That's what I got my money on. Okay, so here the audio is hot dog water just because I wasn't, wasn't talking loud enough, the wind was messing with it, but we were walking past Engineering Row and some other academic, academic buildings as we were talking about our plans for the football season and making our way towards TD's in downtown Clemson. Okay, from there for some uh, food and drinks, we head to TD's in downtown Clemson, which for those of you that don't know, TD's is kind of a staple in the downtown Clemson scene. They have, you know, some iconic drinks throughout the good night Clemson, great food, wings, drinks, just a great atmosphere is all. Also, they have some kind of live music, as I'll throw in here right now. Cause this is how we get down, down town. Just some good old boys all hanging around. Yeah, the summer gets hot, but the girls are all hotter. So yeah, it's just an old video I have. They, they bring some random artists in there every once in a while. I forget that uh, gentleman's name, who he was exactly, but it was fun to listen to. But yeah, it's just a fun atmosphere overall. Great food, great drinks, you know, they have kind of, you know, events there. There's a, a little second story, a little, kind of a look over from the, uh, onto the bar. But, you know, it's a fun place. Very fun place. So here's just a, a view from sitting on the bar on the backside. You know, of course, we had to get a nice little uh, pitcher of beer from me and my friends. And then also, of course, had to get the staple all-in Clemson wings there. Absolute banging wings. I don't know exactly what the sauce is, but absolutely banging. Highly recommend it if you go there. So after TDs, it was time for the game. It was game time, baby. So we kind of wandered over there, cut through the soccer field. Now a lot of people know that the uh, soccer gates are pretty open most of the time. I mean, they're not going to block it off, so you can cut through there. And it's actually quicker than walking around the stadium. You can just go straight through it and walk through the defending national champion soccer stadium. But yeah, it's a great cut through. You get to see the field. You can see the uh, nice housing on the right side. And it's, it's just a great cut through. It makes things shorter for you. So it's just a little bit of B-roll getting us there. So after uh, cutting through there, we walked over by the Scroll of Honor Memorial Park, which is across from Memorial Stadium. And the park just kind of commemorates all the men and women who have you know, both given their lives and given their service to the U.S. military and the armed forces. <clears throat> you know, specifically the 491 students and alumni that have given their lives in the line of service, and their names are permanently engraved in a stone in that Scroll of Honor. So after walking through there, it was time to get in the stadium. So it was gang time, baby. We were just in time for kickoff. Unfortunately, missed you know the honorary captain coin toss, kind of with Christian Wilkins, Austin Bryan, all those other great guys that were that were back in the game. But you know it was an overcast, cold day. Emphasis on the cold, and the entrances were a little bit a little bit funky. You know they were working on the scoreboard. I'll show that later. So that was kind of blocked off, and also the you know, over by the west end zone section of the stadium, they're doing some construction over there so that was kind of blocked off so the, the entrances were a little bit funky where you can only kind of go in a couple ways on each side of the stadium but you know what it was great to be back in the stadium long time coming to get back in there i can't camp says how happy i was walking in there and just just seeing everything again man it was absolutely great uh, this Thursday at 3 p.m. I 
that man Cade Klubnik who I think played real well for a freshman that day. Opening kickoff, you know they did kickoffs and special teams a little bit funky in the spring game but they usually do that just because they don't want the live contact so it's kind of just catch the ball, plays dead automatically. So this was Cade's first play at quarterback, he got quite a loud cheer, should have been a touchdown but also my uh, crummy camera work kind of doesn't show that properly. Like I said, not the best camera work, but was pass interference to be able to defense out. I now know why the cameraman on ESPN don't watch the game and instead watch it through the monitor the recording on. Ball placed to the 18 yard line. So here's just kind of what the west end zone looks like, you know, working on the seating a little bit, but really that in-between area, they seem to be kind of redoing that, remodeling that. And also there's the uh, scoreboard, which is absolutely massive in person. It's going to be big and impressive, people. It looks super impressive. I can't wait until we get the LED screens up there and get it all working. It's going to be an absolute beast and an absolute staple of the stadium for years to come. Okay, and here was another deep shot by Cade. Cade really was not afraid to push the ball down the field, which I really liked. But this is kind of what we saw DJ do a lot of, you know, kind of a lot veteran style check down passes, which is kind of why he accumulated so many more yards and about the same amount of completions as Cade did. But just savvy check downs. Both quarterbacks made some dangerous throws like this, though. Random side note that I kind of found interesting. The uh, women of Clemson were still out there and proudly repping their Deshaun Watson jerseys. Kind of just something random, but uh, but take it as you want to. Now, as shown by this play, though, Cade nor DJ had time to throw the ball. So the offensive line for neither side of the ball was really impressive. Super unfortunate to see Dakari Collins go down with a shoulder injury. Thankfully, after the game, it seemed like it was just kind of a mild injury, and he should be good to go for summer and fall ball, but, you know, was holding my breath there for a while. and Don't want to see a guy go down. Unfortunately, I missed recording Cage's touchdown throw, but here's his two-point attempt where he tries to kind of hit it back of the end zone throw. And here was the fit of the day. Of course I had to rock the game day pants. You know. All right, well, it was a cold spring game, but nice to see the quarterback play. DJ made some uh, good check downs, some veteran check down plays, but Cade was kind of the young gun, not afraid to push it downfield. So uh, very interesting, very different. The defense looked absolutely sharp. So uh, defense should be great. And uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty good. Heading over to meet some friends now, but uh, you know what? Good spring game, good spring game. Like I said, the defense looked very good. Linebackers look absolutely fast. We're gonna see, it's gonna, they're gonna be creative how they get every playing time, you know. Jeremiah Trotter Jr. looked absolutely fast as all get out all over the place. And, uh, you know, Simpson's gonna get his playing time. I think he should go first round in the NFL draft. Levante Bentley looked fast too, but uh, they were kind of sneaking a Bear Carter in some uh, safety play too, so maybe that's how they creatively get him on the field. 
I'm just saying. But um, Cuba playing corner looked absolutely pretty slick and pretty natural, honestly. So if I was him, if he's you know playing a high level cornerback and feels like he can compete when all the other guys come back, stick it out of corner, man. You, you make more money in the NFL playing cornerback than safety. Yeah, an offensive line still a work in progress. You know they kind of tried to break up the best players. And some guys were out with sickness, injury, all the other stuff. So that's a uh, interesting. You know. The offensive line, they tried to throw together, couldn't really keep up with the uh, defensive line. The D-line took too fast. But, you know, that's a good sign that the D-line's going to be good. But we knew our O-line was going to need some work. But getting back, like, Kobe Pace and Shipley, should, they should help. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I'll take some time to uh, kind of process everything. And I'll give you guys a little review later. What's going on, guys? Made it back home from the game. Now, I've had some more time to process it. You know, I kind of realized that, you know, Cade played probably better than DJ. You know, Cade just showed more ability to kind of maneuver in the pocket, extend plays with his legs. And also just, you know, he wasn't afraid to, afraid to throw the ball down the field. You know, sometimes it wasn't incompletions. You know, DJ got more yards. DJ had like 175 yards and Cade had like 106 or something like that. But either way, you know, Cade wasn't afraid to, you know, throw the ball down the field and let the receivers make a play. Or, you know, if it gets tipped away, it gets tipped away. Versus DJ, you know, very safe checkdowns, short chunk plays, didn't want to make a mistake. So it'll be interesting to see how this progresses in uh, to uh, summer balls. I think the uh, the whispers may only get louder and louder amongst the media and the fans for Cade to uh, see significant playing time to start the, start the season. I think they're going to split split time in the beginning, but we'll see how it goes. But, you know, I'll do a review of the spring game more in depth. But uh, that's all I got for today, guys. As always, have a great day. Tell somebody you love them. Deuces.